Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to learn about Azure Load Balancer. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Azure Load Balancer is a service you can use to distribute traffic across multiple virtual machines. You can use Azure Load Balancer to scale applications and create high availability for your virtual machine and services. Load Balancers use a hash-based distribution algorithm. By default, a phi-tuple hash is used to map traffic to available servers. The hash is made from these following five elements. Source IP, which is the IP address of the requesting client. Source port, the port of the requesting client. Destination IP, which is the destination IP of the request. Destination port, that is the destination port of the request. And the protocol type, the specified protocol type such as TCP or UDP. And the load balancer supports inbound and outbound scenarios. This provides low latency and high throughput and scales up to millions of flows for all TCP and UDP applications. The load balancers are in physical instances. These load balancer objects are used to express how Azure configures its infrastructure to meet your requirements. To achieve high availability with load balancer, you can choose to use availability set and availability zone to ensure that virtual machines are always available. Availability set provides you with 99.95 SLA and availability zone gives you 99.99% SLA. Let's look at availability set. Availability set helps you protect from hardware failures within your data center. As mentioned earlier in this course, an availability set is a logical grouping that you can use to isolate virtual machine resources from each other when they are deployed. Azure ensures that the virtual machine you put in an availability set runs across multiple physical servers, compute racks, storage units, and network switches. If there is a hardware or software failure, only a subset of your virtual machines is affected. Now let's look into availability zone. Availability zone helps you protect from an entire data center failure. An availability zone offers groups of one or more data centers that have independent power, cooling, and networking. The virtual machines in an availability zone are placed in different physical locations within the same region. You can use this architecture when you want to ensure that when an entire data center fails, you can continue to serve users. And availability zones doesn't support all virtual machine sizes and aren't available in all Azure regions. So you need to check if they are supported in your region before you use them in your architecture. Now let's understand how can you select a load balancer solution. So two products are available when you create a load balancer in Azure. Basic load balancer and standard load balancer. So let's look at the basic load balancer first. Basic load balancer allow you with port forwarding, automatic reconfiguration, health probes, outbound connections through source network address translation, and diagnostics through Azure Log Analytics for public facing load balancers. And basic load balancers can be used only with virtual machines in a single availability set or virtual machine scale set. Second is standard load balancers and this supports all of the basic features and they also follow HTTPS help props, availability zones, diagnostics through Azure Monitor for multi-dimensional metrics, high availability ports, outbound rules and a guaranteed SLA of 99.99% for two or more virtual machines. And a standard load balancer can use any virtual machine or any virtual machine scale set in a single virtual network. Now let's understand the difference between internal and external load balancers. An external load balancer operates by distributing client traffic across multiple virtual machines. An external load balancer permits traffic from the internet. 
the traffic might come from browsers, module apps, and other sources. And an internal load balancer distributes a load from internal Azure resources to other Azure resources. For example, if you have front end web servers that need to call business logic that's hosted on multiple middle tier servers, you can distribute that load evenly by using an internal load balancer. Let's understand how you can configure a public load balancer. By default, Azure Load Balancer distribute network traffic equally among virtual machine instances. And there are two distribution modes, the phi tuple hash and a source IP affinity. So let me explain the phi tuple hash first. So the default distribution model for load balancer is the phi tuple hash. The tuple is composed of source IP, source port, destination IP, destination port, and protocol type. Because the source port is included in the hash and the source port changes for each session, clients might be directed to a different virtual machine for each session. The second distribution mode is source IP affinity. This distribution mode is also known as session affinity or client IP affinity. To map traffic to the available servers, the mode uses a two tuple hash, which is from a source IP address and a destination IP address, or three tuple hash from source IP address, destination IP address, and a protocol type. The hash ensures that the requests from specific client are always sent to the same virtual machine behind the load balancer. So let me take you to the Azure portal and show you the load balancer type. I'm on my Azure portal. On the global search box, I'm going to type in load balancer and select load balancers. You can create a brand new load balancer by clicking on add. In this instance, I do happen to have an existing load balancer. So while you are trying to create a load balancer, after providing the resource group name and the region, you can select the type of the load balancer. Do you want an internal or a public load balancer? And within that, there are a couple of different SKUs as well, which is standard and basic. So after you select, it's, is it going to be a regional or a global? You can basically create your first load balancer. And when you are selecting the SKU, Microsoft recommends standard for prediction workloads. If you are testing something, please select basic. You can put a new public IP address if you want to create a new one. So after you create a load balancer, go inside the load balancer to find appropriate settings. You can see that you have configuration options to provide the front end IP configuration. The one for me is given to redirect the traffic towards the public IP address. Then we have backend pool. Backend pool is to distribute traffic to VMs and a backend address pool contains IP address of a virtual NIC connected to the load balancer. Then we have health prop. Health prop is to allow the load balancer to monitor the status of your app and the health prop dynamically adds or removes VMs from the load balancer rotation based on their response to health checks. So under the settings, you have multiple options. You can provide the name of your health prop. You can choose the protocol. It can be TCP or HTTP, port number, interval. So if you mention five, that's the number of interval in seconds between the probe attempts and the unhealthy threshold we can select two for the number of unhealthy threshold or consecutive probe failures that must occur before a VM is considered unhealthy. Once you put that details, you can click on add. The next configuration is load balancer rule. You can click on add to create a new rule. And the load balancer rule is used to define how traffic is distributed to the VMs. And you can define the front end IP configuration for the incoming traffic and the back end IP pool to retrieve the traffic along with the required source and destination port. This is where again you can enter details like the name, protocol, port, back end port, back end pool, and health prop. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about application gateway. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.